everybody talking about the running back market coach in the NFL right now and headlines all a popping and the Vikings were front and center in this conversation um, a few weeks ago when Dalvin Cook, somebody of his uh, remarkable production over the last few years, despite even a, a shoulder injury, uh, released. Uh, and I understand, you know, the money doesn't just sit around. I mean, Daniel Hunter just signed a big one-year deal for you, which I'm sure you're very happy to have him uh, in the fold. Why Why did this happen with Dalvin Cook, Coach? Yeah, I think, Rich, it's, it's one of those things, first and foremost, um, and I think Dalvin – Uh, knows this wholeheartedly, Uh, just how much I care about him, uh, what he meant to me in year one. Uh, Very few people understand just the type of leader that Dalvin Cook is, what he, how he practices every single day, regardless of, you know, you know, if he was dealing with his shoulder uh, over the last few years, I mean, that guy shows up every single day and, and is a vital, vital part of a lot of the things we were able to accomplish a year ago. Uh, And that's not lost on me. There's always a, you know, there's always a business side and an element to putting together rosters in this day and age. Uh, the salary cap is a real thing. I know from time to time uh, people like to talk about it as being something that's not, but it is, it is an absolute real thing. Um, and, and the decisions that Quasi and our front office, uh, you know, have to make year in and year out in regards to our roster, they're never easy. Um, there's going to be some throughout our tenure here that, yeah, you know, you may be – yeah, you, you maybe don't feel great about, and, and you have to explain that and articulate that. And, and then once a decision like that is made, Rich, you know, I've, uh, as I told Dalvin, I want to be there with him every step of the way, you know, even if, as he's trying to find his next opportunity. If he's got any questions for me, maybe a scheme question, maybe a, you know, hey, what do you think this would look like compared to that? Uh, you know, I want to make sure I offer that up because there's a relationship there. Um, and the respect I have for him. And, and, and quite frankly, uh, you know, the career he had here in Minnesota um, is one that, uh, you know, he should be, not only he should be proud of, but I know all of uh, our Vikings fans and everybody in this organization uh, will always put Dalvin Cook in a place, you know, high up on high up on the mantle of somebody that did it the right way and, and, and poured it out for this organization. And I have no doubt, uh, you know, whoever's lucky enough to sign him for this season and beyond, um, is going to get, uh, you know, a, a, a really, really good player. And, and as you said, I, I do think he's healthy now, and I think people will get a great version of that player. So is Alexander Madison, in your estimation, ready to roll? Like Bell Callum? Like, is that the plan yeah, here? Yeah, I think Alex is um, – I think Alex, over the course of his career, when he's gotten some opportunities to, you know, kind of be that featured back when, when you know, a couple – you know, a few, various times when Dalvin – maybe hasn't been able to go. Uh, he's demonstrated that. Um, he's clearly, uh, you know, a different style of a back uh, from Dalvin Cook, but um, Alex is, is absolutely ready. He's off to a great start in camp. He had a great spring, um, and we're really looking to feature him as that, as that guy and, and allow him to uh, get comfortable in that role for us while also st- seeing if we can develop uh, some good depth and competition behind him uh, to make sure we, you know, feel as good as we can about that running back room. Well, I mean, you know, and 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 just so you're aware, Dalvin Cooks had nothing but great things to say about you. And you mentioned Quasi, the you know the general manager of the team, uh, Adolfo Mensa. And you know, uh, he he did say, however, he got a sense that his time there was done during the playing season last year, and said that the uh, relationship of the run and the pass wasn't there all year. Do you do you have any sense of what what he was referring to? On that coach? Yeah, I mean, Rich, there's, you know, there's a lot, there's a thousand things when you look back on last year. Me personally, the first thing that I always like to do is, you know, reflect personally and look inward of, of you know, the the things that, that I could control and the things that I did to try to help us uh, win and, and some things that I could have done better. And that's every facet of not only being the head coach, but the, but the play caller. And, and I think uh, truly, you know, living – uh, day-to-day and, and speaking on our offensive philosophy, Dalvin knows this as well as anybody, that uh, that's, a, that's a big part of, of who we ultimately want to be um, as an offense and, and we'll continue to try to strive to consistently be that. But um, at the same time, uh, in, in some of those moments when uh, games are close or uh, you've got to try to find a way like we did 10 or 11 times to come from behind in the end, 
um, and win a one-score game. Um, there were some critical moments there where, uh, you know, we relied on our pass game and, and Kirk finding guys, Dalvin included, um, just like he did on, you know, against the Colts for that 64-yard screen for a touchdown um, where the pass game had to thrive for us um, in those moments. Each and every Sunday um, is different, and you got to find a way to win a football game some days uh, completely different than maybe how you drew it up, how you how you thought you would have to win that game. And I think playing complementary football in all three phases, Rich, is a big part of it, um, you know, showing some improvement and a little bit more consistency with a – with Brian Flores running our defense and our special teams continuing to be a strong phase for us, then we got to do our part offensively and, and uh, we got to run it better. We got to run it more efficient and uh, nobody takes more responsibility than that than myself and, and our coaching staff. And uh, that's what we're working towards throughout the rest of August as we get going here uh, in the meet of training camp and preparing for our season. Catch the Rich Eisen show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to three Eastern for free. 